John Jones Cyril Gon fight? Honestly, I think it's a it's a tougher fight than Francis. Really? I do. I think that Cyril Gon, his movement, his footwork, he's so good with his front leg. And for John Jones, who when remember when he came back from OSP, he looked so stiff. Yeah. And that was at a time off and putting a lot of muscle on. He just looked like a slower version of himself. So now this time it's a longer uh, time off and you're coming back with way more weight on and you're going against one of like the faster heavyweights and the mm. more smoother heavyweights instead of Ganyu where, you know, he lands that hard punch. I could do it, but I could just shoot under that hard punch. And Ganyu, I mean, uh, Cyril Gan, you have to watch the kicks, watch the full work, cut him off. Yeah. The just, thing just, is that Cyril Gan was out grappled by Francis when Francis had a bad knee. Francis' knee was fucked up, and Francis out-grappled him and beat him handily with his yeah. grappling. Yeah. You know, I talked to Eric Nixick, and he said Francis' grappling is on a totally different level than he used to be before, and he's so big and so strong. Yeah. That, like, you know, he's uh, in camp with Blagoy, uh, Ivanov, yeah. and, and he said he was just holding him down, doing whatever he wants to him. I'm like, that is really impressive, because yeah. Blagoy beat Fedor in Combat Sambo. He's a monster. He's himself. a monster. He's the one who got like stabbed, right? Yeah, in the yeah. heart. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's crazy. One time, I saw him at, uh, you know, he's under Ali, and we, Ali had like a media day for his fighters, and Blagoy like comes up to me, and, and like I make picks every, uh, every fight, and I'll like circle fighters who I think is going to win, and I'll post it on my Instagram. And he like came up to me, and he like shoulder bump, he's like, you didn't pick me my last fight. And I was like, I was like, what? And I was like, dude, I don't even think, I don't even know your fighters even really pay attention. To that. He's like, I was like, dude, I, now I started realizing that these guys are like watching it. But uh, of course they watch. Yeah, I was like, this guy's crazy. But I was like, man, I gotta pick him every single time he goes now. <laughs> I was like, nuts. But yeah, I, I always talk to Eric Nixon. Eric Nixon is one of those coaches that he's like my brother. Where I'll call him after, hey, I, they're giving me this guy. What do you think about it? And he would always tell me like, Francis is Francis is one of those heavyweights that loves to wrestle, like. You know, wrestling practice strikers they don't show up. They they don't they hate to be in that grind. It's a different type of grind. They said Francis is there all the time. He loves to be in that. Well, he wants to that learn. Mode. I mean, especially after that Stipe fight, the first Stipe fight, he learned like that's where his Achilles heel is is yeah. gra grappling, and that also you can't take everybody out. Like sometimes, like not in that fight at least, Stipe just weathered the storm somehow or another. Yeah, and you have to have the gas tank, and you have to have the grappling. To survive all those other exchanges, but you know? that was at his moment. Remember when he was just knocking everybody out, and he mm -hmm. had like two minutes of fight time. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you fight a guy. Oh, dang! It's past the second round. Well, Wait. it's also like we talked about with Hamza when Hamza went after Kevin Holland. If you get out of that round, how much do you have left? Yeah. Well, he got out of the round. Stipe made it out of the round, and then Stipe started dominating. <sighs> But that second fight, man, Ooh. Francis's takedown defense, he looked Ooh. good. Patient Francis. That's what DC was saying. Patient Francis is scary Francis. <sighs> yeah, that's why I'm mad. Yeah. I'm mad because I feel like we were deprived of one of the great fights in MMA, one of the most compelling fights in MMA. Does it mean I'm not interested in Cyril Gaon and John Jones? I'm very interested in that fight. I'm very, For all the things you listed. Yeah. Also, for Cyril Gaon's performance against Tai Tuivasa, it's like, God damn, Cyril Gaon. And Cyril Gaon does a lot of shit that's very unusual. Like, first of all, he stands totally sideways, and he does, like, a twisting kick with his front leg to throw a front kick. You know how he yeah, does that? Yeah, Very yeah. weird. Yes. Yeah, like, he stands totally sideways, and he, like, twists his leg in. He doesn't stick it up and stab it forward. He, like, twists it and go in. Yeah. You never did that? Well, Taekwondo. It's a that, twisting it's, kick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called a twisting kick. Okay. Yeah. So, no, that's him throwing sidekicks. But, heel kick. Yeah, anyway, he threw a crazy. spinning heel kick. He, he throws this kick off the front leg. If you go to Tai to Ivasa. Um, the one he was landing to that front, oh to the my body. God, that was breaking. Dude, that, Tai is so tough, though, He's man. so tough. Tai is so tough. That was a crazy-ass fight. And that was a perfect fight to, like, showcase what Cyril Gaon is capable of. Because his, his movement, the fluidity of his combinations. And, I mean, the guy moves like a middleweight. Yeah. He's 240-plus pounds. This was a great ass fight. So he stands sideways and he throws this front kick when he gets distance. He throws this front kick off the sideways stance and he turns his body. Oh, there's that kick to the body, oh. those those round kicks. Oh, this is the finishing secret. Oh. Yeah. Very, very interesting, man, watching the two. There, there it is. Oh, See yeah. it? Yeah. See how he throws it? 
and he throws it off of both sides with the front leg. He's the most agile and the, the like probably the most technical of all the heavyweight strikers. Cyril's very well rounded when it comes to his striking. He's so smooth. Yeah. Oh, so f- and he's like intelligent. Like mm-hmm. he understands the distance. All right, yeah. now this is a knee distance. This is not kick distance. Very interesting fight. So for John, it's going to be can John take him down? Can John, like, how does John perform at heavyweight? Can John close the distance? Is he as fast? What is the three years off like? Is he hungrier and even better because he's fired up? And he, you know, like, y'all must have forgot he's got that mindset. He usually does too, yeah. right? Remember, he was always that guy that would want to beat you at your own game. Oh, you're yeah. a wrestler, I'll wrestle you. You're a striker, I'll strike with you. Yeah. So well, if he comes out there thinking, Zero Gone, you're a smooth striker, I'll, I'll smooth you. I don't know. It's also a first fight at heavyweight. We really don't know how he's going to respond when he gets hit by a big heavyweight. <sighs> We don't know anything. Yeah. And I mean, it's uh, years, and it's also John is older now, you know. And just a lot that of time partying, off, honestly. A lot of partying. 